Hey friends, what is up? It is Maisie with Barbecue by Maisie. If you are new here, you're in for quite the treat and you're probably gonna wanna subscribe. And if you're coming back, your support means the world. All right, you guys, I am excited to be doing something a little bit different today. We are out on the Weber kettle. Got my chimney going, the vibes are good. We're making a barbecue burger I'm gonna show you how to grill up burgers. Everybody needs to know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, watch this video and go practice immediately. It's your homework. I just love the way charcoal makes a burger taste. So I'm gonna show you how I make hamburgers on the kettle. Super simple, super easy. Anybody can do it. All right, so I've got some cowboy charcoal briquettes that we are going to put in our chimney. I have got a cowboy fire starter underneath. Like y'all. So the way I do my burgers is similar to how I do my steaks. It's a bit of a reverse style method. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so don't panic. First things first, what you want to do is get your chimney going, get your charcoals lit. Then you're going to go and prep your burger patties. So our chimney is well on its way to being lit and let's go prep our burger patties. All right, so we are going to season our burgers with a little S and P and garlic P. Salt and pepper, garlic powder. I like to go heavy on the pepper because I'm a peppy kind of gal. And that is it. I will season the other side once we get our burglars on the grill. All right, so for this cook, we want two zone cooking. I would say for most cooks you're going to be doing on your charcoal kettle grill, two zone cooking would be the best way to set it up. That's why I'm really excited to have the slow and sear. The link to the one that I purchased, I have a 22 inch kettle, is going to be down in the description. But if you don't have a slow and sear, just set up your charcoal grill for two zone cooking, which means hot coals on one side, the other side, no hot coals. Get it? Two zones, one hot, one cold. Okay, our charcoal is nice and hot, so it is ready to pour it into the right side of our Weber into the slow and sear. That's fudging hot. Yeah, she made fire. All right, so vent wise, I have the bottom vent a little less than halfway open and the top vent is fully open for now while I get the grill heated up and then I'm going to shut it down a little bit. One thing to note, you want your vent side over here on the cooler side where you have no charcoal. So the air is going to come up and out the other end where your vent is open. So right now our grill is already pretty hot. The temperature is taking temperature on our charcoal side. Right now we're a little bit over 400 degrees, so we are ready to get these burgers on pretty soon. At this point, I'm going to close the vent on the top. Son of a bee, forgot it would be hot. All right, so I'm going to close this vent to about half open, like yeah. So I've got my burgers here and I'm gonna put them on my non-lit charcoal side. Okay, boom. All right, so now while since we have these on the grill, we are going to season the other side of the patties. Lids going back on. Remember the vent is now gonna be over our burgers over here. All right, so I'm gonna let these cook on this side for about 10 minutes before we come and check them and flip them. We're going to get them mostly cooked over here on the cool side, then we're gonna move them over to the hot side and you guessed it, sear them. Okay, so 10 minutes, we'll be back out here to check on our Hamburglers. 
It's been about 10 minutes, so now we are going to flip the burgers. All right, so we're gonna put the lid on and we'll come back out in 10 minutes and take the internal temperature and see where we are at. So after we flip our burgers, we're going to add our cheese. Two slices of cheese for good measure. Top back on. All right, so I let these go for about 15 minutes after I put the cheese on. Now we're going to move them over to our hot side of the grill to finish off. That bottom is gonna get a nice charcoal crust on it. With this part, you just wanna be careful about flare up so you don't wanna completely burn your burgers. That flame is what makes these burgers so freaking good. So these were getting a little too kissed with the flame, so I just moved them just outside. They're still in the hotter part of the grill just to finish them off. So now I've just thrown my buns on with a little bit of butter. We're gonna get these all off the grill and assembled. All right, so we are just about done with these burgers, but don't leave just yet. You're gonna wanna see me assemble these burgers because it's gonna be good. We're making a little barbecue style burger. So don't you dare leave yet, okay? Just stick with me. You have made it this far. Will you do me the pleasure of in the comments saying she's got big buns? That is going to be super exciting to look forward to. All right, let's go assemble our burgers. I'm so freaking excited. Let's go. First step, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that barbecue sauce. I'm making this messy. Now we got some bacon. Yo. Okay, on one of them. We're gonna top it with an onion ring, you know what I'm saying? And then the other one, we're doing some onion tanglers. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. You know I can't leave yet until I have sufficiently tasted the burger. Okay, I'm going all in on the one with the onion ring. I've been looking forward to this been dreaming about it for a couple days now, so let's, let's go. Woo! That is a good burger. All right, you guys, quick recap of how we made these simple charcoal grilled burgers. Remember we did the two zone method. We had our burgers on the cooler zone to begin with, 10 minutes on the first side. We flipped the burgers added our cheese and I let them go about another 15 minutes before we move them over to our hot zone to get that nice little char grilled taste on the bottom. Mm, so good. <sighs> Seriously, so simple. If you have questions, as always, let me know. If you want to see more videos of me cooking over charcoal, please let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. This was such a fun cook for me today. I appreciate you hanging out with me. You guys are just the best friends a girl could have. You guys have a great rest of your day. We will see you back out here next time. Let's go. Let's get it.